Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hello, everyone, and welcome to lecture number four from the course Killing the Dream Killers. My name is Carlton, and I am your instructor for this lecture. Now, in this lecture, I will give you a course outline so that you will be able to have a roadmap of what this course entails. Now, we are in section number one right now, and in section number one, it had four lectures. The first lecture was an introduction about the course and gave you an, uh, more of an overview. Lecture number two is a lecture about what is a good job give you a little history about myself and the good job team and the good job organization and why we are here providing this course and why career development is our passion in lecture number three we talked about why you must kill your dream killers now this is the previous lecture that discussed the primary importance of killing your dream killers if you have not checked out this lecture please be sure to do so there's an activity with this lecture that you do not want to miss because it will reveal something about you and money and the fourth lecture is this lecture which talks about the course outline okay in the next section which is in section two I will focus on dream killers and what they do in section five, I talk about the four schemes dream killers use against you. Um, I talk about the attack that they wage, and I want you to hear and see for yourself what it is that they do. Now, I'm sure that you have heard these schemes many times in the past, but now you get to put a label on it. And that's an empowering thing, is that when you put a label on something, you are empowered. Okay, and so lectures six through nine go into detail more about the schemes that dream killers use. So scheme number one has to do about when dream killers put doubts in your minds in order to derail your plans. Uh, scheme number two has to do with um, being belittled and insulted and demeaned and shamed into submission to their ways. And then scheme number three, we, uh, see, look, there they go, right on time, you know, always trying to muddle things up. Okay, like I was saying, scheme number three is about their own selfishness and keeping you from um, practicing delayed gratification. It also talks about the dangers of euphoria, so you just got to be careful, you know, about that. And then in scheme number four is where um, the dream killers can use mental and physical force to keep you from living out your dreams. And this is kind of a rough one because it often often talks about abuse. All right, so in section three, we're going to talk about the nuts and bolts of how to kill your dream killers. You know, in lecture number 10, I talk about the 10 tools to kill your dream killers. And this is pretty important because I give you 10 tips, tactics, and tools that are proven to kill your dream killers. All right, so in tool number one, it has to do with the good job principles that I discussed back in way back in lecture number two. Now, these principles will be covered in lectures 11 through 15. Now, tool number two is a tactic that gets you to focus on your strengths rather than the dream killer's weaknesses. And then the number, oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Now, can't you see that I'm busy? Now, that's exactly what dream killers do. You know, they get in the way and they try to stop you when you're making progress. So, excuse me for a second, let me take care of this. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, tool number three. Um, this is about gaining control of any dream killer situation. All right. Tool number four is about how to encourage yourself when you feel defeated by your dream killers. And then tool number five, which we'll see on this next page, um, helps you to make progress every day by checking off to-do items. Tool number six gets you connected with the appropriate help because you cannot do it on your own. Tool number seven is another way to encourage yourself often to press through the schemes of the dream killers. Tool number eight is how to use the number one most powerful success tool in the world to achieve your goals. Tool number nine shows you how to become more valuable by adding value to others. And then tool number 10 helps you to do the very next thing that is needed when you run out of gas. Okay, look, I'm sure we got through that without being interrupted again. All right, so in section four, section four is more of a recap from everything that we learned from the previous two sections. And it's uh, lecture number 25, which is entitled Game Over. And this lecture I'll provide you with a download that has some additional tools for you to check out. So, wait a minute. Okay, and look, game is over, so just don't go away mad. Just go away. All right, so in the next section, in section number five, 
what we're going to discuss is where you actually get to see dream killing in action. You know, there will be three case studies, and that will be in Lecture 26. I'll give you an overview of the actual case studies that participants have shared their dream killing stories about and how they've used the tips, tactics, and tools from this lecture. All right, so in case study one is about Christian. Um, she needed to have a job after a 20-year abusive marriage. Case study number two is about Kevin, who need to get $1,000 for his son's summer program. And then case study number three is about Larry, who was laid off his job. Each of these case studies will have a download and an activity tied to it for your input and for your learning. All right, so in section number six, this is the goal achievement section. This is a section that a lot of the participants, you know, they love uh, and they wait for. Now, the goal achievement section, this is lecture number 33. Um, I will give you a project where you can start implementing these dream killing strategies that I've taught you. So you look at now, there they go again and they don't give up. So when they don't give up, neither should you. Excuse me, let me take care of this. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, um, so included in this project is a goal for you to earn some extra income, of course. And that's going to be a motivating factor for you to use the tips, tactics, and tools that you have learned in this course. Now, I will provide you with the downloads and further instructions that help you to be successful in this project. All right, so by the time we get to section seven, this is a bonus section. This is a bonus lecture where I want to stay engaged with you after this course with the specific intent to help you stay on target. Yep, towards your goals. So career development is a lifelong process and so is killing the dream killers. But I promise you, it is all worth it. Okay, that's it for this lecture. Thank you so much and we will see you in the next lecture. Have a great day. Thank you.